All right, hey guys, it's Adrian from Mesa Anatomy.com and welcome to this this um, class over here where we're going to be sculpting a dynamic figure. Um, there's no reference, it's just for us to study the anatomy um, in a dynamic pose. So if you guys are new to this channel, this is where we mainly focus on ZBrush um, and anatomy or digital sculpting and um, ZBrush Core. There's core mini and a bit of blender also. So essentially for this, um, this is I'm planning to to do all um, like a series or so, like where we're gonna be focusing on just digital clay. So any software you wanna use, it's fine. Probably if you wanna use Blender sculpting, it's 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 gonna be fine. But I'm gonna be using a ZBrush Core Mini, which it it's free. You guys can download it um, in uh, right now. It, it, it's completely free. So I've already started with this. As you see, I'm blocking out the shapes. Um, I'm using the basic brushes, which is the clay builder brush. So um, essentially, what I am I'm gonna be doing. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm like at this stage, I'm still trying to figure out the forms. Still trying to understand um, how everything is lying out, and so, so it's very important to know your your origins and insertions, your basically your human anatomy, if you guys want to tackle this. So if you've studied um, the anatomy before, if you guys watched our videos on our channel. We shared a, a lot of process, like the in, in, entire process, how you can um, study anatomy in the ZBrush um, digitally. So just check out our channel. Um, I, I believe that there's a series called um, I named it Anatomy in Motion. I'll I'll, 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 I'll probably hop like, like pop the the link on the card here above on this video and on the description also so if you like a, a complete beginner if you do you know nothing about the anatomy so this is going to be very hard for you to figure out but then it's a very um cool cool way to study the anatomy so after after everything just um just challenge yourself so i chose us to to ch to like challenge myself because there's there's not any reference going on also as you can see I'm working on the everything is still basic at this stage everything is still basic Just blocking everything out with the clay bit of brush working on muscles and our bones not too f um, like worried about the details at, at this stage. It's just that we can um, probably like figure out the forms. You can see working on our moving all over the, the, the place. Like so, I don't stay in one place, and then I, I just smooth everything out. In. So I'm using the same brushes. It's clay builder brush and the move brush, and I believe at at, at the very end I'll probably use a slash brush also. And that's basically that's all. Oh, that's what the brushes I'm going to be using. That's it. Our pets over here, just moving right in. Still trying to figure out the muscle. So it, it's very important to to know where they originate for. So and and how they deform. So it's really I'm still trying to figure that out over there. Just coming in with, with that clay builder brush. Everything is still rough at this stage, as you guys can see. I'm gonna ignore the head. Um, I, I'm just gonna do a basic skeleton block out. My main focus for this um, for the study was to basically get get like um, uh, 
um, like studying the, the torso and, and a bit of the arm, the upper limb. So like if it's flexing like that, um, how will everything be laying out? So I'm still trying to figure that out. So this is this is digital clay. So we're not gonna be doing any fine details or anything going on. So everything is gonna be rough, and then we'll leave it like that. So just coming in, just moving that in, moving all over the place. Just don't forget you in three D. So just make sure you move up and down, like turning your models. Don't be afraid to do that. As you can see, I'm I'm forever correcting myself. Looking at the proportions and and if um, what's happening over there, just twisting that like so with the move brush. Checking the proportions like so, and then now I have my reference now because I, I, I I'm I'm finessing everything now. Just smoothing, coming and smoothing out with the smooth brush. My brush is very very high, so I can get um, bigger triangles. So I can start with the the the, the detailing part. So I have my reference. These are the models we. We, we have on a store so if you want to check them out you can purchase them on our on our store at lsanatomy.com like so so I'm just coming in with the clay butter brush this is the brush, brush I'm going to be using now and again looking at our deltoid and like so just coming in like that and again guys if you if you um, if you gonna like if you have like any reference or any anatomy study you want us to, to tackle just please share share um on the comment section below so probably on the next video i'm gonna have that reference that you selected on the side and then we'll probably tackle um tackle that reference um all together so if if you have like any image you want us to study just um, um comment on the session below and then probably on the next tutorial i'm gonna have your reference on the side and then we're gonna tackle that um that study over there so um any reference guys just um don't hesitate just um, comment on the section below and then I will assist you guys where I can and again I for me this is just testing myself as I've been studying uh, anatomy for uh, a few years now and then like I I in, in, like I enjoy doing these these um, practices because these um, like challenge me to to learn even more and to know like where I stand the anatomy. You see, I'm just gonna come in. The slash brush is carving in the biceps over there. Sorry, sorry about that. Let me just um, close that, and then on our deltoid is the the, the connect on the, on the humerus also. of that bit and I'm just gonna trim that because we're not gonna be doing the entire arm and then over here also just, just gonna correct that with the move brush I'm not too happy with the, the proportions so yeah um, I'm gonna leave this for you uh, like like this for now if you want this project for just um, comment on, on the section below and then in the next tutorial guys you can suggest it by sharing your um, sharing your um, your own reference and then we'll tackle it together again i mean is zbrush Comini the free version of zbrush uh thank you guys for tuning along um, for, for
following along with this short tutorial of the dynamic figure again i'm adrian from acanatomy.com and thank you guys for your time and i will see you guys on the next lecture